Hello, today we're going to give you some basic introduction to GeoGebra and there are five things that I want to show you to help you get started. And the version that I'm using right here, anytime you want to find out, this is version 4. So if you're using a different version, that this will tell you where you are in, in, in this case. First thing we want to take a look at is the graphics window. And if we pull the view down here, you'll notice that we have a check mark on the axes. If I click that, the axes disappear and click it again the axes come back and that works for everything under that menu the other way you can modify this is go out to the graphics window right click and if I don't want to see the grid I can click on that if I want to bring it back I just click one more time so you have two easy ways to do that second thing we're going to take a look at is under the idea of readability and we go to options and font size and you notice that I've got 20 and I use this or 24 if I'm at a conference with a lot of people and let's show you what happens when I click on 12 virtually unreadable if you're going to use an LCD so keep that in mind and I'll put it back for 20 uh, for purposes of this video right here the third thing I want to take a look at here is back in options again and it's this thing called settings and this is a very rich area here you notice you've got defaults now these areas over here I'm not going to touch on today because this is a beginning workshop and I'll go ahead and click point and currently every point I draw is going to be black but let's suppose that I wanted these points to be red so I'll click on there and there's a couple more options I'm going to pull this back from 9 to 4 which is what I usually use in the classroom and you've got several types of point styles and this is the default value let me go down here and pick something that's a little non-traditional and in this menu setting here when you get everything set exactly the way you want you can click save settings and that's your personal settings so the next time you open GeoGebra it will be exactly the way you want it and I'm gonna not do that because I have my own personal settings and so I'll just click close and now if I go up to the point area and click on this it says new point click on the graphics view and when I do this three things happen number one you have the point number two you have a name for the point called the label and the third thing is it will show you the location of that point if you like that that's great if not just go right back to options and settings and let's say gee what happens if I have really big points and I'm gonna put this back to the default and let's change the color one more time maybe make it blue and I'll say close and now you see that is reflected uh, immediately now there's another way you can uh, change your points individually let's suppose that you're happy with everything except point C and I want to change this well let's first of all go back up here and put our cursor on this spot right here which I call the home position and your mouse will select anything you want but the third thing I want to show you right here is pressing the escape key which I'll do right now takes you back to that home position most of the time people have trouble with GeoGebras because they're not in that home position at this point now I'll come over here and get close to point C to where you can see that it slightly changes its view and then I'll right click go down to object properties and you can change anything you want now I'll move this to the left so that you can see how the settings change GeoGebra is written in real time and it updates immediately so if I don't like the color blue I'll change it to something else if I don't like the style I can reduce this and I'll show you what happens gradually as this gets smaller now as you use GeoGebra you will have your own preferences and that's great if you want to change the point style you can make that something a little bit different and a lot of times if I press the escape key it's just the same as pressing close so I'll go ahead and do that right now and so that's how you can set the options on things that you draw and I'll show you one more quickly here and we'll do this one in lines and currently right now it's blue and it's a size 4 and a line style I'm gonna change that to dash line so you can see how that works 
come over here to lines and if I click and click you can see as soon as I press my escape key you have a dash line and let's suppose again that I want to change that one and as I get close to that you notice it slightly changes I'll press my object properties here and right over here under style I'll come down and put it back into the solid and you see that it immediately changes now the last thing I want to show you uh, is something in terms of writing on a screen and what we're going to do is use this thing right here called text but before we do that I want to show you how to modify that before we do it so we'll go to options settings and down towards the bottom something called text and if I click on the text uh, tab here I got two choices I highly recommend sans serif it reads easier you have lots of choices here I'll pick the one in the center so that if you don't like it you can go any direction you want and you have bold and italic up here as well so I'll close now if I want to type I just go right here to the insert text and it says click anywhere you want so I'm going to click down here in an open area and we'll just say uh, something like we are having fun now Oops. fun now and I'll click OK and there we are now like everything else in GeoGebra if you don't like where it is or anything about it you can change it so I can just drag it anywhere I want and if I don't like the color I can just right click and this is off the screen but it is object properties again and you can change the color you can rewrite the text we are having more fun M O R E okay and as soon as we click OK you've got that changed so that'll get you started and I'll leave you with a quote from Albert Einstein he said teaching should be such that what is offered is perceived as a valuable gift rather than a hard duty well GeoGebra is certainly a valuable gift it's an international gift used all over the world it's not a hard duty it's a lot of fun so I encourage you to have fun along with your students. Enjoy.